This is Ross from Castronado interviewing William O'Connell at the February 2019 Los Angeles Hollywood Show. So now, what projects are you currently working on? Uh, I'm retired right now uh, after, uh, my wife said, uh, after paint your wagon. Uh, I'm going to go and get you into library school, get your master's degree, and then I'm going to start employing you on a part-time basis so you can continue to film and act on stage. And that's what I did. Very nice. Okay, and so did you have any favorite films or television shows before you started acting? Uh, my first television show, uh, straight out of a British drama school, uh, was Highway Patrol with Roderick Crawford. Uh, ironic that you go to a British drama school, learn how to speak, receive speech, and then you're put into westerns and, and something like that. Uh, but in Hollywood, you play as cast, you perform as directed. I had no complaints. Cool. What was it like to work on those? Pardon me? What was it like to work on those? It was wonderful. They, they were my first uh, roles, and uh, I, uh, I was well prepared, and uh, I had grown up here with uh, my father was uh, an editor at uh, the L.A. Examiner. My mother was the travel and resort editor at the Times, and so I came well equipped to play these parts. Very nice. Uh, yeah. And what was the first film that you appeared in? A Portrait of a Mobster that starred the late Vic Morrow, uh, Norman Alden, and Leslie Parrish. And my clothes were clothes that had been worn by Hume Cronin, the character actor. Cool. Very exciting. Cool. What was it like to work on that? It was... Uh, a gangster movie uh, in a sense if it had come earlier in Hollywood's history you would call it a, a B picture but it was an A picture and it launched a Vic Morrow's career and Leslie Parrish's career very nice well thank you for allowing me to interview you my pleasure thanks well there you have it that was Rostro Castanato interviewing William O'Connell at the February 2019 Los Angeles Hollywood show